hi, hello, surprise, surprise. So I had some overflow <laughs> that um, I said, hey, let me, and I spelled feminine wrong. Seems like I'm, I'm doing that. I'll go back and correct it um, later. But I just finished my Her Master Life class. Jeez. And the energy was bananas. And um, I'm still feeling very much in flow, right? And so I was like, I, I just want to go and share something else about feminine energy. Um, those that participated were, I, it was, wow, whoa, oh my gosh. It, it was amazing. And I'm so excited because this body of work um it's is hu it's so important to me because of the connectivity and what really transpires for women when we tap into this right and so i've been practicing it on myself for about 3 to 4 years and you know just feeling comfortable enough to share it as a body of work and to have experienced the response and the trans the instant you know downloads and transformation that happened inside class tonight you know really has me like super excited like i feel absolutely amazing guys i can't even um explain it but um i feel i feel even more enlightened i feel lighter um as well and so because i still had some some overflow from you know what transpired in class i thought i would come on and talk about um this one feminine energy tip with you all um that i think um you'll find valuable and if you get an aha from this you can only imagine how you know class was so i did feminine energy grooming habits, which are different from just normal grooming. But I'm going to share this one with you all. And this is a feminine energy tip and it's related to weight loss. So one lifestyle habit that helps us to connect back into our feminine energy is working out, doing things in nature, yada, 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 right? And so many people have a goal to lose five pounds, 50 pounds, 20 pounds, 10 pounds, whatever the thing may be, right? We may have some things that we want to do as it relates to, and you may see in the back because I shared some different um, holistic um, skincare products and um, supplements and things like that inside the um, Master Life class with the participants as well. But um, for me, I do work out, not necessarily to lose weight as much as it is, you know, just to maintain my health because of what it does to my feminine energy and, um, you know, just stamina and all of those things. So I want to show you the difference and what may be somewhat of a struggle with your workout routine or whatever the case may be. And I want to show you how... Anything that we do, we can embody masculine energy or we can embody feminine energy. This is going to be a shift, okay? So let's imagine you have a goal to lose 20 pounds, right? So you decide, you know what, I'm going to work out so I can get this 20 pounds off and, you know, I'm starting tomorrow, okay? When you go and work out, much of your energy, hear me when I say this, while you're working out is, you know, yeah, I'm going to get this 20 pounds off and, you know, you're, you know, looking at that scale and, you know, you're really focused on that end goal. When you are approaching it from that aspect, you are approaching it from a very masculine energy my gosh in heaven because we gotta know that the masculine is a do 
energy. It is focused on logic and all of those things. Now, I believe in one of my videos that I talked about feminine and masculine energy, I also talked about one of the benefits of learning to tap into your feminine energy is it helps you to relax. I also shared that when we're under different measures of stress, there is a hormone called cortisol that is activated from the stress. And then cortisol activates a part of our body that tells our body to store fat. So imagine if you're addressing your workout from a place of, oh, I got to lose this 20 pounds and you know, there's more resistance. There's probably a higher level of fight or flight, right? You're fighting to get the 20 pounds off. And in actuality, you might be, there's a likelihood, I'm not a doctor, right? I'm just processing through my brain what the uh, hormone cortisol actually does, as opposed to the benefit of operating our lives more in our feminine energy. And so let's imagine you're approaching that weight loss goal from that very masculine place. I need to lose this 20 pounds. I'm just, I'm getting ready to go hard. And this, you're, it's more fight mode, right? Which is more likely if we're just using logic to stimulate, you know, some level of stress, which might, not a doctor here, right? But just using logic might slow down the weight loss process because you're approaching it from a very masculine energy place. But what if instead you tapped into your feminine energy with that you still have the goal. So you need the masculine energy in order to even set the weight loss goal. Stay with me now. So in the um, Her Master Life class, I talked about the fact that although we as women are wanting to tap more into our feminine energy, we still need the masculine, right? So the masculine part of the weight loss goal would be determining a weight loss that you want to be at, like an amount. That would be the masculine part. But how you approach the workout can either be done from a feminine energy perspective or a masculine energy perspective. If you're just joining on, I talked about the masculine energy perspective. Now here is what the feminine energy perspective of losing that weight would be. Y'all say me in the comments. I see some people on. Let me know you're with me so far, right? If you approach that same goal from a feminine energy space, what you would be doing instead would be enjoying how the workout feels. So one thing that I do for working out is riding my bike, right? Of course, I said, you know, it keeps my stamina up, you know, helps me to maintain my weight. Um, or the size that I want to be, all those things. But I don't get on my bike saying, yeah, I got to keep my weight at a certain thing or I got to maintain 128 pounds or whatever. That's not the approach that I take. The approach that I take is I like how I feel because your feminine energy is, is really connecting with how you feel when I'm riding my bike. I like what I'm seeing. I like the atmosphere. I'm um, particular about riding in places that allow me to feel good while I'm doing it. So what happens is I actually still keep my weight to the space that I want it to, but I do it from a space of feminine energy. I hope this is making sense to you ladies, right? And so much of what we do as women, we are normally operating without being aware from a space of our masculine energy. And it doesn't benefit us as women the way that it benefits men. Um, I even go into inside the class, um, which the class is over. We just had the class, but I am going to offer a replay. So for those of you who are interested in getting the replay, um, it'll be $100 off of what the regular price was. You can get the replay and the replays will be ready tomorrow, but you'll need to either message me here or um, put me in the comments in order to get it um, 
to get the replay um, sent to you and it'll be, you know, $100 lower than what the actual class was. Powerful, powerful, powerful. And I'm saying this because of the response. Like I knew how it worked for me, how it felt for me, how many shifts I had from understanding it and operating in it, but it was an absolute blessing. You know, I, you know, I'm kind of welling up a little bit um, because of how pleased I am at the response from the participants. So I thought I would share um, just one more difference in how we operate in our masculine and our feminine energy and then invite you if you missed it you can um, get the replay just put me in the comments or message me me um, you'll get it a hundred dollars off of what the regular cost was and um, it'll be ready tomorrow and I, I'll get you the link um, to be able to purchase that if you message me I'd rather you message me um, and I'll get you the link in the message box on either page and then I'll send you the replay tomorrow. But it's something that I really, really love, a body of work that I am going to continue building on and sharing because it's so transformative for women. It helps us to connect on a whole nother level. Um, it works in so many areas of our lives. I talked about how it works in parenting. I shared some of my feminine grooming habits and all of those things. So um, I wanted to share that weight loss, feminine and masculine energy approach with you. Um, and let me know if that registered for you. You guys have a super blessed, amazing um, rest of your week. And um, for those of you who want the replay for the Her master class be sure to either put me and then i'll message you if that's easier or um, message me in my message box have a good one peace